Aaron's House for Grieving Children is hosting its annual Lights of Love Memorial. This year does come with some changes, however. Joining us this morning is Director of Development and Events at Aaron's House, Andre Gilbert. Andre, good morning. Good morning. So first of all, let's just talk about Aaron's House for Grieving Children. For those that don't know what you guys do, can you explain what your sure. nonprofit is all about? Yeah. So we provide support um, for children as young as three years old, um, children and teens after the death of a loved one. Um, so a common misconception might be um, that we provide counseling or or the kids are at Aaron's house. Um, so we provide peer support groups for those kiddos. So they're in groups with kids their own age um, who have also experienced the death of a loved one. So let's talk Lights of Love. What mm -hmm. is it usually? Well, we've been fortunate. So Lights of Love is actually one event for us that isn't going to be impacted too greatly by COVID. Um, we're very excited. So um, we have it at Parkview Field every year. This is the ninth year that we've had it. And community members are able to purchase a tribute in memory or in honor of a loved one. And it's up on the giant video board at Parkview Field. So what are some changes that you will be facing this year? Um, the biggest thing this year is with Night of Lights not happening. So the first night of our event is the 25th, the night before Thanksgiving. Um, so usually we have a lot of our families who come to Parkview Field, how they usually do the fireworks and everything. Um, and so that Wednesday night is usually, as you know, a big night uh, for families to come out and view the lights of love. Um, so unfortunately, the big crowds aren't happening, but lights of love will still be there. Um, starting on the 25th, um, and it's a 12-day event, so they can come out any night. Um, it, it'll all be safe, social distancing, things like that. There aren't big crowds um, for the event, so we're excited to still be able to have it Perfect. pretty much as normal. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> and there are different types of memorials you can purchase, right? There are, yeah. For $30, a family can purchase a lighted candle for their loved one, so their name would be up on the video board with the candle, and then for $100, they can select a picture and write a personal message for their loved one. And um, both of those levels also come with a custom ornament with their person's name on it um, that they could hang on their Christmas tree, too. So this is an annual event, so I'm sure you get feedback from people that make those purchases. And what does that mean for them to be able to do this? It's this, this event, I call it an event, but really it's more, we call it a friend raiser because um, Families are giving back to Aaron's house, but really we're giving them an opportunity to remember their loved one this holiday season. Holidays are super hard after a death, and so we really wanted a way for the community to um, just remember some of those traditions and memories about their loved ones. So they can come to Parkview Field, see their person's name or picture up on that video board. Um, and we've heard from numerous families um, just how special that is for them. They've created a new tradition to do with their family members. Um, to come visit their loved one in that way. And there are some important dates to know. Yes, so the Lights of Love display will be from November 25th to December 6th, um, but the deadline to place an order will be the 23rd on that Monday. And funds raised help you guys in what way? Yes, so all of our services are completely free to our families. Um, they're never charged to enroll at Aaron's house. Um, so by participating in Lights of Love, you're ultimately giving back to those families um, who are missing their loved ones this holiday season. Audrey, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank Again, you. those important dates, the Lights of Love Memorial is at Parkview Field from November 25th through November 6th. You can choose between three memorials to honor your loved ones, a custom holiday ornament, lighted candle, or a personalized tribute. Of course, you get that ornament if you make those choices. Prices vary. Times for each tribute also vary depending on the day. Submission deadline for the memorial is November 23rd at 5 p.m. Parking and admission is free at Parkview Field. Proceeds will benefit Aaron's House for Grieving Children. When we return, we'll check back.